Oh my gosh, we have completed the violin skill. Congratulations, Posey, on completing not just the violin skill, but your entire requirements for your generation. We are so excited. Look at her. She is so freaking happy, and I'm so happy for her as well. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Sims in Bloom series. I hope you've all had a fantastic week, and I hope you're all looking forward to the next episode of Sims in Bloom. I think today is actually going to be our last episode in this household, probably the last episode of this generation. I think today we're definitely going to be finishing Posey's final skill that she needs to learn and we will probably be moving on to Poppy, which I'm very excited about. At the moment, we've just got Posey outside doing some diving. All of the kids are kind of hanging out and doing their own thing because it is Saturday, which means no school for us, which is great. And we have Miss Poppy inside who is having some breakfast this morning. And today is actually a very big day for Poppy because we are going to our high school prom with our kind of crush uh Jordan who we were kind of flirting with and had a crush on in the last episode um but you know what we're feeling really tired so I am gonna send Poppy to sleep which is great because it does mean I get to actually work on prosy skills for a little bit so yeah she's just having a bath at the moment um but I'm gonna get her to grab her violin as soon as she's out of the bath and we're gonna try and finish off this violin skill kind of as soon as possible right now we are sitting I think it was at level nine of the violin skill yeah so we don't really have that much more to go literally 70 percent until we're level 10 and then we're we're done. We're done. That's all we need to do. The only other thing that I was thinking about doing was the My Sims trophy collection. Um, but again, I don't know if they're available anywhere. And looking in the calendar, there's no events on today where I can actually buy them. So we might go over to the little uh, town square and see if they are available to buy. Um, but if they're not, then I'm that's fine. I'm just going to let it be. All right. We're up, we're out of the bath, we're feeling good, we're feeling healthy, and we pulled out our violin literally straight away. She is emotionally mindful, so she wants to play her violin, and then immediately decided, you know what, that was enough practice. Okay, okay, Percy, why don't we go over to the little town square, we can bring Riley with us, um, and we'll go check out and see if they have any of those My Sim dolls that we were very excitedly looking for. All right, here we are. I brought Riley across and this community center does change seasonally. Um, last time we came here, it was the same setup as this time. And unfortunately, it it doesn't really look like we have anything to sell, um, to buy on these tables, like for my Sim dolls. However, I think we do have some seed packets and stuff, which Riley might even be interested in. So I'm going to see if he can come over. Oh, we have to wait for someone to tend the table. But once they're here, I think I'm going to get him to come over and have a look and purchase something. <gasps> okay, people have set up some stuff, but unfortunately, yeah, what is this? Like, juice fizzing, and then I think this lady is literally selling the same stuff. Um, okay. Oh, and so is this guy. Okay, let's do his inventory. We'll, we'll see what we've got here. Um, I kind of want to get Riley to come buy a couple of these, like, uncommon plants. Start of fruits, no... Ooh, farmer veggies and herbs. Yeah, let's get that and see what we get. Okay, is it in your inventory? Let's have a look and see what we've got here. All right, open seed packet. Okay, so we got some carrots and we got some basil and we got some bell peppers, potatoes and parsley. Okay, nothing too fancy, not really deluxe, but that's fine. Um, why don't you come get yourself a oh, coffee? Never mind, the coffee van is not open. Oh my gosh! Leah's here. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Have we come to meet with Leah? What is happening? She looks so tired. But that's so crazy. Posey's here and Leah's come to visit. Maybe um, Posey's like invited her or something to come and have like a bit of a chat. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I kind of have to work on our violin skill. So I think we're actually going to get that one out and do some practice, which also counts as fame. So It'd be cool if we'd got famous right before the end of the generation, but I don't see that happening. So just gonna pull out a violin and have a little practice now, and we'll see how much we can get up to level 10. And since Leah's here, I think I'm actually gonna invite uh, Poppy to come hang out as well. She is in her pajamas, where is she? She's over here. Sorry, Posey, uh, Poppy, sorry, oh my God. I literally just brought you over and you're wearing your pajamas. Why don't you change into one of your outfits and then Ooh, the lag. Why don't you change into one of your outfits and then we can come over and say hi to your friend. Um, did she leave already? Oh no, she's over here at the shop. Okay, so we're coming over and we'll come say hi to Leah. 
Um, ask about day. We'll just see what she's doing here. Like, here we are. We are looking so cute over here in our little socks and our little cute sweater. Um, but we're gonna come chat with Leah and see what she's up to. I love how these guys come and visit in our hometown all the time. It's honestly so nice. Like, they give us, like, real bestie vibes. Because even though Poppy has become, like, kind of popular in her town after posting a lot on social media, um... She doesn't really have any friends like here, you know what I mean? Like no one's really reached out to her to hang out, but it's really cute that Jordan and Leah still come and visit her, like even though they don't know her, like, well they do know her, but they don't know her like super, super well. So I think that's really, really cute. And I think Posey and Riley can also definitely see that these guys uh, are really uh, Poppy's friends, which is super nice. So I'm gonna get Riley to come over and introduce himself too, because only Posey has met Leah at this stage. And I think that um, Poppy's dad is gonna have to definitely meet Leah if Poppy is gonna move in with these guys. So we'll get him to come over and say hi. But at the moment, he's literally is just watching Posey. He's so blown away. He's like, You've been playing violin, you know, since we since we met, since you were a child, and you've just gotten better and better over the years, and I'm just, I just love, I'm so delighted, and I love you. He's just, he's so cute. It literally, I did not tell him to watch, and he's watching, which I think is so cute. Um, I know she can get, like, serenade kind of thing. I kind of want to see if I can do that. Serenade Riley. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to cancel this interaction to get her to try and serenade him. It's cute. It's perfect. Oh my god. Wow. Look at his little face. This is so cute. I love that. I love that for them. Oh, he's blowing more kisses. Cute. And how are we doing over here? Still scar gazing. Cute. These guys are catching up. Oh my gosh. I don't know if Poppy would confess that she's a crush on Jordan, but I'm pretty sure she would be telling Leah um, that they're going to prom together tonight. Oh my gosh. Adoring. Okay. She really does like a uh, Leah as well, but but Leah is a bit older than Poppy, so even if we wanted to explore Leah in a romantic way, it just wouldn't be appropriate at this point. So at the moment, Leah is just a friend. We have a crush on Jordan, um, and yeah, so you know, bestie vibes over here. I'll let them. I'll let them be for a little bit. I think we probably have to head home and start getting ready for prom really soon though, because um, our after party is going to be starting, I think around three. So I might actually send Poppy home now and Posey's making a buttload of money over here, but I think we can probably call it a day and also head home. It's midday. We're going to go get our prom dress on and let's get ready for the prom. So yeah, let's go. Back at the lot now, which is great, and I'm gonna get Posey to continue practicing her violin. I'm very keen for her to get this finished, like, as soon as possible, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our violin and do, you know, play some more. We'll do our best, we'll keep playing. Um, we're currently, how much more have we got left? We're halfway to level 10, so I'm hoping we'll hit it very, very soon. Um, so I'll get her to keep practicing it, and I'm gonna get... Okay, so po uh, Poppy is upstairs, and I'm assuming she's just chatting with Jordan on the computer. I think I'm actually going to get her to send Jordan a text and just let her know that she'll be heading off to the party soon and see if Jordan wants to meet her there. So we're probably going to have to go ahead and pop on our formal outfit. So where is our sister? Let's go downstairs. Let's go over here. And Raven, where are you? Okay, Raven's in her room. Um, I'm sure Raven's going to come try on some outfits. And Poppy is like okay we ready to get ready for prom okay cute what's she trying on different prom outfits i'm okay. guessing and we're gonna go ahead and pop our formal outfits on although we're getting a phone call okay so raven's popping on her formal outfit now she has decided to wear this beautiful purple dress i don't know when she's gonna put it on hold on cheerleader outfit of course all right, there she goes. This is her little formal outfit. And hi, Poppy, we're having a little get together before pump. Do you wanna join? Okay, we're gonna choose Sims. We're gonna choose Jordan and Raven and Reed. And we're all gonna head off to the prom, the early prom party together. And you guys will be able to see the outfit I put together for Poppy, which I'm very excited to show you guys. I think she looks absolutely so cute. Oh my God, it's, it's snowing, unbelievable. Great, all right, okay, sounds good. Let's go inside. Let's go in here together. This actually, this house is so cute. What? I want to live here one day. Um, okay, well, we didn't really finish getting ready for prom and it's absolutely freezing outside. So I think we'll come inside and put our outfit on and everyone else will also put on their outfit. Um, I guess we'll just come up to one of the bedrooms upstairs for a little bit of privacy, maybe like this room over here. And we're gonna go ahead and pop on our outfit. But at the moment, oh my gosh, she's literally running inside because it's a blizzard outside. It's crazy. Okay, okay. Here we are. We're coming in. Let's head upstairs. 
Okay, so we're all making our way in here now. I think we're all going to have to get dressed. The only one who has decided to battle the cold in their formal outfit is Raven, of course. So I'm going to get Jordan popped into her dress as well. Okay, so this is Jordan's little prom outfit. What do you guys think? I think she looks so, 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 so beautiful. Super, like, uh... Princessy, I think she looks super cute. I love the aesthetic she's gone for and we're also going to pop Poppy in her pro uh, prom outfit as well and this is Poppy's prom look. I hope you guys like it. It is a little bit different from the other girls prom dresses but I think it definitely fits her style. She's got some cute little platform like ballet shoes on with her black dress and it's layered and then she's got a little bow in her hair. I think she just looks stinking cute so I hope you like her look. Um, I'm gonna get her to take a picture with Jordan. Oh she's immediately flirting with her. Oh my god okay you guys take a picture together because you look so cute on your little in your little formal outfits. So let's get a selfie and hopefully prom is a nice night for us. Oh my god this guy's just gone to cry in the closet. <laughs> oh my gosh typical. But look at them they're so cute. Okay they're like let's take a selfie together. It's so cute. Okay, I love this one. This one is so beautiful. Oh, good on them. All right, looking good, girls. Okay, since we're all dressed up as now, is there like any music downstairs that we can listen to? Surely there is. There is a piano, um, but I don't see any stereos exactly. There is also a downstairs. We could literally come downstairs, I guess, and like hang out, but um, turn on some... What are, what are kids these days listen to? Hip hop, I guess, and then we can come and like all dance together downstairs. That'll be fun. Raven's getting a phone call. Hey, I heard that you and Poppy Bloom are good friends now. Oh my god, our brother's literally calling us to say that. What are you doing here? Why are you calling us? Why are we not in our formal dress anymore, Raven? What has happened? She's literally gone to exercise. Absolutely, just insane. Okay, everyone's coming downstairs. All the music's playing, so they're all come to dance. Getting ready to get that prom vibe on, you know. Here's Jordan. Here's Poppy. Oh, I think we're very excited to be at prom today with Jordan. We definitely weren't like the type of girl to want to go to prom before, but Jordan wanted to go, so we kind of sucked it up and we thought it'd be fun to actually hang out with a proper friend. So we're going to make sure we spend a lot of time with her at the prom tonight. Plus, we also have a crush on her, so we probably will try and like slide in a little bit of a flirt, you know, here and there. I might try one now and see how it goes. We do have a suggestive conversation going on because Jordan's in a flirty mood, so... You mean, you'll never know. I mean, she's doing a little flirt now. I think it went well. It didn't give me the look. Oh, yeah, there we go. <gasps> it did went, It did go well. Cute. Wait. Maybe we can compliment her appearance because... Oh, slow dance? Let's see if we can slow dance. You know, there is music here. May as well try, right? They're slow dancing. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, we like hip hop. Sure. <gasps> Oh my gosh, cute! Look at these two! The way she looks at Poppy is adorable. Wait! Okay, I'm gonna skip forward until we get to prom. We got about 20 minutes now, so let's do our best to have some fun and then we'll be at prom at 7. Alright, so we finally made it to prom. I actually already loaded in once and it, the whole game was glitched so I had to reset it. But we finally made it to prom. Everyone's heading inside. I'm actually going to get everyone to go ahead and vote for the prom royalty and Jester right off the bat. So I think that we're going to get Reed to actually vote for Raven and Raven to... Probably vote for Reed to be the prom jester. I think that Poppy would actually go ahead and vote for prom royalty to be Raven because we know how much it means to Raven to be prom royalty. Um, you know, like the prom wasn't really our gig and but we decided to come last minute so we don't expect our siblings to vote for us. So I'm quickly gonna go ahead and vote for Raven and we'll come over and we'll give her a hug as well because she definitely deserves it. And then the next thing we have to do is come and dance. So I think I'm going to get these guys to come and do a slow dance together. Obviously, we're going to be doing that with Jordan because she is our date to prom tonight. But then I also want to go ahead and do a group dance with everyone as well after we've had a little bit of a slow dance. But Jordan's over here already waiting on the dance floor. She's actually chatting with Reed, which is really cute. So I guess she likes this enough to want to get to know our siblings pretty well. So we'll definitely make sure that we spend as much time as possible with her tonight because the reason we came is because we really wanted to be with her. Okay, here we come, coming over, and we're going to go ahead and do our slow dance. Not before a selfie, though. 
All right, they're doing their little dance now, which is very cute. We start to grab a drink, show off our outfit, and eat something, but I'm gonna let them have their little slow dance, have their moment. Um, these teams seem really like cute and smitten with each other. I, at the moment, we're just friends with a little bit of flirtation going on, but who kinda knows what the future's gonna hold? Jordan is flirting back with us right now, so at least that's good, but we're having a bit of a dance, bit of a boogie. Oh my gosh, look at us go. We're definitely feeling ourselves right now. What's wrong? Oh, she hates photography? She doesn't. I have to change that. All right, let's come and grab ourselves a drink. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're grabbing some fruit punch. We're feeling a little bit chilly because it's winter at the moment, but we're getting ourselves something to drink. And I think the uh, prom rewards are starting, so we're going to head over here with our drink and we're going to see who wins. Fingers crossed Raven gets prom royalty because I think she definitely deserves it. I kind of want to come over and have a look at all of these guys. Raven is over here. She's feeling a little bit sad. I'm not really sure why. Maybe she's realizing that high school is almost over and she kind of peaked in high school. She doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life, so, but you know what? She still has a couple weeks left of school, so let's see what happens. Okay, we're announcing the rewards now. Who is gonna win? Let's see. <gasps> Wait! Did Raven win? Did Raven win? Oh my gosh, people are like literally talking to her and shouting. I think she won. What does it say? Attention everybody, we have the final results for the winners of the prom court. I'm happy to- <gasps> Wait! No! Poppy got- Prom royalty, but who is this guy? Ricardo? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, she's like, congratulations, good job. Okay, she's feeling good. Is this your prom date? <gasps> Wait, Raven, do you like this guy? Wait, don't be sad. Oh my gosh, she's happy from her peers. Okay, I'm gonna ask him if he's single and see if Raven is like maybe gonna be interested. Look at the way she's looking at this guy. I kinda think she kinda think she has feelings for him, not gonna lie. Are you single? Oh my gosh, royalty for the night from winning prom court. You didn't, you didn't win. Why is, why is Raven excited for winning? She literally didn't win. I'm so confused. Kato was single though, so I'm gonna get Raven to grab a little bit of a flirt with him. What are you guys up to over here? Having a bit of a chat? Cute. Can we do a little bit more of a, like a little bit of a flirty flirt? You wanna blow a kiss over here or something? I kind of hate that she got the prom jester because this hat is like so goofy, but I mean, if anyone's pulling it off, it's definitely Poppy. That's all I'm going to say about that. You guys want to go ahead and dance? And I wonder if there's anyone single at the prom for you, Reed. What are you into? Who are you into? Oh, look at this little sweetheart dance. Cute. Oh, and prom is over. That's so sad. But they're going to keep dancing. They're going to wait. Um, but someone is inviting us to go to the after party. So let's go ahead and we'll grab... All of our siblings and all of our friends. Happy after party, guys! Let's freaking get it. All right, Jordan's changed into something a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if we should also change, potentially, but I kind of was hoping to get a little photo together before we did change. So I'm gonna come over. Uh, let's get a photo with, we'll get a funny photo with Raven. And then I do wanna take a friendly photo with Reed. Oh, this is, I'm literally Reed right now. Okay, sure. We're gonna go ahead and take a Romantic photo with Jordan. Not before we run off somewhere though. Stop running. What are you doing? Go back. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this is where. Okay. Everyone's freezing to death. Everyone is freezing to death. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, no. Everyone is like freezing. Put on your cold weather outfits, guys. You've got this. Okay, change of plan. We're wearing cold wear outfits now because everyone is so cold. We're literally in a blizzard. Why did we decide to go to an after party on prom night? We definitely cannot wear our prom outfits out like this. Okay, all of my kids have their cold weather outfits on. Where is Jordan? I'm worried for her too now. She's also freezing to death. God, this is not how this episode is gonna end. I swear to God. Okay, we're all in our proper outfits now. Hopefully we'll start to warm up soon. Let's come over and chat with Jordan. I wanna see how she's feeling. We're feeling pretty tense. What am I doing out here from being outside in a blizzard? Yeah, I have the same freaking question for you. Let's go. Okay, here we are. We're back at the freaking festival. Let's go ahead and ride on the romantic ride with Jordan. And I'm going to get Reed to come and ride with Raven on the spooky one. I think it would just be hilarious because they're like complete opposites, these twins. I think the scary ride would just be so fun. Um, Why are you over here at the wedding venue? This is <laughs> nowhere I asked you to go, but everyone else is lining up and getting ready to go on their ride. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm probably going to have to change the weather. So it's probably not a blizzard. Let's just do 
cold instead because these guys are struggling. I feel bad. I'm going to play Sim God and tell the weather to chill out for a little bit. But we're heading in. Let's go and see how the romantic ride treats us. Poppy has decided she wants to talk to Jordan about their relationship and what better way to communicate a serious relationship than through a cheesy ride. Should be asked to be friends or keep flirting. I'm going to go keep flirting. Nothing says I want to be more than friends than being stuck on a ride with someone while you're be while you're sur serrated by the swish sounds of Frank the Flying Womp Womp. What happened then? Nothing too exciting happened, but something has sparked with Jordan's heart that could be the perfect opportunity for Poppy to pursue a relationship. Will they or won't they? Maybe you should find out in the Cuddle Cart. It's a sequel. <gasps> okay, so we started crushing on the rider. I already knew that we had a crush on Jordan, um, which is fine. I want to find out. I think Jordan is into women though, which is good for us. Yeah. Um, but now we have a little bit more romance, which is also good. So when they come out, I'm going to get them to go ahead and take a photo together. Let's do, let's just do a friendly photo. Um, just because, you know, we're not in a relationship or anything. So we just want to make sure we have some nice memories just in case things don't work out. And yeah, I think, we're, I think we're having a good time, which is nice. All right, cute. Okay. She probably has to get back to the city soon, but we're going to spend as much time as possible with her. I'm sure she's asking Poppy about when Poppy is planning to move into the apartment. And I think we're probably like telling her that we really want to move in ASAP. Um, but we just got to sort some things out with our parents. So they're kind of having a little bit of a nice night, just like looking at the stars and having some deep conversations about the future. Not necessarily like their future as a couple, because that's still open um they've so far they've just had a bit of a flirt which is which is cute we don't know where our relationship is going to go with jordan but we do know that we probably will be friends for the long term even if it isn't a romantic relationship so these guys are just having a little bit of a chat a little bit of a deep chat about their future and what they want out of it they're both becoming adults in just a couple of days so it's very exciting to see that growth because they're both currently teens but I'm glad they're having time together and I'm just gonna let them chill and then I'm probably gonna get, get everyone to head home fairly shortly and we'll probably head to bed and have some sleep. All right so it's the next morning all of the kids recently just came home so they were kind of heading off to bed now but Posey is up it's six o'clock and I'm actually gonna get her to go downstairs and work on her violin skill as you know that's the last thing she needs to do I've only said it a hundred thousand times but I want to get her to practice it kind of ASAP where is her violin here it is an inventory and let's go downstairs and smash this skill like let's literally do it I'm not gonna get her to stop until she has finished so I'm very excited let's go let's go get this done okay there she goes she's getting her skill up okay how much further have we got we're at 61% so we're gonna smash this out in no time which I'm very very excited about and while she's playing you guys I think I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a secret so as you guys may remember, yesterday when we were over at the community lot, we ran into Poppy's friend Leah. Now, I don't think it was a coincidence that Leah was actually there at that time. And as you guys may know, Poppy has been asking Posey and Riley if she can move to the city when she becomes a young adult. And Posey was pretty keen, like, you know, she was very accepting of the idea. And I think we just wanted to go ahead and get Riley to meet Poppy's friends before we made that decision final. But now that Riley Riley has actually met both Jordan and Leah. Um, these guys are actually super comfortable with the idea of Poppy moving out. So, secret is, our beautiful Poppy will actually be moving out of the house today. And we are going to be planning a little bit of a goodbye party for her when she wakes up. I reckon she's, she's super, super tired. So she's probably going to sleep most of the day. And I think by the time she wakes up, we're actually going to have all of her friends and family here and ready to say goodbye to her and move her across to the city. So we'll have to tell the new good news once she gets up. <gasps> Tofu has become an elderly cat. No, Tofu. <gasps> Oh my god, we are literally, wait, what are we on? 89%. We're gonna finish this literally within the hour, I reckon. Poor Raven's passed out on the cows. I reckon she's probably hungover and she's pretending she's not. 95%. 96. 97, 98. Okay. 100. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, we have completed the violin skill. Congratulations, Posey, on completing not just the violin skill, but your entire requirements for your generation. We are so excited. Look at her. She is so freaking happy, and I'm so happy for her as well. So that means 
Lavender Jen is officially over and Rose Jen is going to be beginning. And I don't know what's a better way to start Rose Jen by moving into a brand new apartment with our best friend. So I reckon Poppy is going to get up really soon. So I'm actually going to go ahead and book a social event, a little party. Let's go ahead and plan it. All right. And I think everyone should be heading over now. I've just booked a little bit of a dinner party. So I am going to get Posey to do just some cooking. Let's go ahead and make something... Uh, one time suit sounds good. Let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and wake up Poppy now and oh look little Rose is in here Let's come over and give her a bit of a hug I think everyone in the family knows what's going on except for Poppy, but she's got herself dressed, which is cute So she's like I think Rose is like oh you better go downstairs Like I think mom was calling you so I'm gonna head downstairs over here and oh, look Jordan's here Let's come say hi to Jordan Rosie is just cooking some food in the kitchen, ready to host this party. Okay, look, there's Raven, but we probably should go downstairs. Okay, Lila's also decided to join us. We still need to meet Lila's child at some point, but we'll probably get to that. And yeah, let's come downstairs and say hello to everyone. Oh, okay, so Jordan's come up to our room and we're like, oh, what are you, what are you doing here? I just saw you yesterday. I didn't know that you were planning to come over today. And Jordan's like, oh, well, did you not hear? We're having a little bit of a party downstairs. Like, let's go, let's go down and join. Um, but I think Leah's also probably heading up the ladder as well. Cause I did tell her to go downstairs, but she's, she's been being a bit stubborn. She's talking to her sister. So we'll have to wait and see. Maybe the party is going to be in our room after all. Okay, no, here we come. And we've come downstairs and I think Posey is going to be like, surprise oh my god the phone rings We're like oh my god leah you're here too what's happening everyone is so dressed up and our aunt is here as well lila will come say hello to her wait who's died oh <gasps> taco's passed away no i think that was tofu's brother oh my god now we're gonna be so sad but no let's not let it ruin our spirit don't tell lila about it because she's over i feel bad she's gonna have to rush home but let's go in and we're gonna go ahead and tell poppy that we that we've planned today's party because we have some good news we are like congratulations darling um you're actually gonna be moving out with your friends as you wanted to you know what you i think you're close enough to being an adult and i don't really want to cause any um i don't really want to stand in your way or anything so i'm gonna go ahead and let you move out with your friends today and that's why they're here today because they're gonna help you pack and we've got you know moving trucks on the way and yeah you're gonna be moving to the city so this is your goodbye party and oh my gosh are we feeling stoked okay we're feeling sad because the cat died but are we feeling stoked we're definitely feeling energized so we'll have to come and give our mom a hug because obviously she's the best person in the world i'm also gonna ask her to be our best friend even though I think Riley is currently our best friend, but we're going to be like, mom, you're amazing. You're so understanding. And we're going to ask her to be our best friend. Um, I'm glad that Posey's understanding that this is just like not the place that Poppy should grow up in because she is just, you know, a different breed, I guess. Like she has different interests and she really wants to excel on social media and we're in Port Promise. So that was so cute. They became best friends. Everyone's going to grab themselves. Let's grab some food. Oh no, don't resume that. Get some food. Some wonton soup over here. Oh my gosh. These two actually get along so well. Kind of weird, right? Is it kind of weird? Do you also have a crush on Jordan? But I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this dinner party early and get and get Poppy to actually go ahead and move out. So finally, we are splitting from the household and we're moving to the San Marcino apartment that you guys saw a couple episodes ago. So we're gonna say goodbye to all of our parents and everything and just essentially get ready and head off right now. I'm going to come into her room really quickly and take all of these photos and everything. And I'm pretty sure we made this as well. Take our postcard, take, oh, I don't know if we can take the computer because it doesn't technically belong to us, but we're going to take our little froggy and all of this cute little stuff. Um, our little poppy doll. We'll take everything that we grew up having and we're going to go now and leave. Okay, so we're going to be bringing Mr... Mrs. Tofu with us as well. And I'm going to transfer us, uh, actually, maybe like 10,000 simoleons. Yeah, we'll do 10,000. And that's going to be our cash we're taking with us. But we're off to our new house now. All right. And here we are walking through the first time in our brand new city apartment with our besties. We've got Leah over here and we've got our Jordan who is 
kind of kind of dating at the moment but it's not really a serious relationship right now so we'll see what happens but here we are we're very excited we're like thank you so much for letting us move in i cannot wait to explore the city with you guys and just become closer and grow my social media page like it's going to be awesome having you guys around and yeah i'm just super super excited for poppy and her journey but i am actually going to go ahead and end this episode here we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves when the Rose Gen hasn't even started yet. So, the so next episode will be episode one of Poppy's Generation, which is going to be the Rose Gen. And I'm very excited for that. So, and I hope you guys are too. If you liked today's episode, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Jordan and Poppy. I would love to know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.